who made it this far, but your princess is in another castle. Now we shall fight to the death! Rah! Worst boss fight in history. Hello everyone, hello and welcome to Let's Play More Mission Impossible! Well, last time we made it to the end of the Moscow stages and found out that uh, Dotoro had been transported to Venice. So on the next charter flight over, it's time to carry on the chase for action time! Now, this stage is a lot different to most of the other ones we will be doing, folks. In this one, all three characters are involved in this one, folks. So uh, if we die, we die. And for goodness sakes, please don't crash into the side. Ugh. Pretty hard, this, actually, truth be told. Ow. Helicopter, not good. We can't fight that properly, folks. We've just got to attempt to dodge its gunfire, which is hard at the best of times. So if you hit any side... Oh, God almighty. Look at me dance. That was cool. Ugh. Just keep firing, it's generally a pretty good way to go about it. Ow! Oh, we're not good health-wise. No! No! Oh, we made it first time. Nice. And we are here, folks, in the Temple of Doom. Although, I must put out a strange disclaimer here, folks, before we get into this. For some reason, I have never understood why. As we, uh, well, we'll explore a little bit, folks. For some reason, obviously, we were just going through the Venice Canals. However, we make it to our Venice Temple, yet apparently our Venice Temple is actually in Berlin. That's what it says in the game manual, folks. What the fuck? Anyways, we are here, ready to try and find Dr. No and stunning Shannon. But, uh, well, seems like the uh, locals aren't too impressed with, uh, with our uh, dealings, so that's not so good. So, well, I suppose we better start searching around and see what we can't figure out. Go away! I'll have to kill all of you guys. Whoa, there's a lot of guys in there. Actually, that's not a good idea. Alright, I've got to remember where the hell I've got to go here. I really... Where the hell do I go in this place? I forget. Let's look upstairs quickly. Love the music. It's really cool. Um, we don't want to go there. No, we want to do that. We want to go up there, but a little bit later. We got stuff to do on this first floor first, but I can't remember what the hell it is. Let's have a look around, see what I can't find. Ow, you, my face. Whoa, holy shit, my face indeed. Second attempt. Splat, splat, no, ah. Murder them all. They are all hostile folks, so have no fear in murdering people. Much near though, unfortunately. Mm. Look up here then. Ha, ah, you cannot see me. Yes. Whoa. Ooh, hello. What have we got here? More spy robots here. Now keep an eye very carefully here, folks. The one on the right, yeah, he goes back on himself. So, uh, gotta be careful here. This one is not as simple as it looks. So I'm just going to wait for a better opportunity here. Right, so head up. Up there. Now wait for this one to go back on us. Go. All the way around. Just oh, you idiots. Bombs. Bombs away. Oh, shit. Run, man. Kill him. Is what we are interested in, folks, is this thing up here. It's not a switch per se. What is it? Arms? Holy mother of goodness. You see, that is a fire alarm. And you'll notice if we leave the room, what the fire alarm has done is that it has well, it's obviously run through the building. And so, all the people in here that were trying to kill us have evacuated making the first floor a heck of a lot safer. As you can see, no one in here now. 
Thank goodness for that. Not as anything down here, but, uh, well, it's a thing. So, now that we've done that, now we want to head upstairs. Damn, a bit music. Unfortunately, our, uh, our terrorists here are not so interested in, uh, in believing our alarm, folks. He, he, they, don't, they, they see me that. Unfortunately, they don't see me splatting them like that. Ooh, hello, more machine gun guys. Has he seen me? Oh, he's seen me, all right. That's a worry. Right, I want to get down this room on the right first. Get this guy. Get him! No! No! Run! 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 Stun him! Yes! Get him! Get you too! No! Yes! There we are. Oh dear, not doing too great here, must be said. Ah! Something here then, I suppose. Ooh, hello! I really do not want to fight with these. They're called Iron Claws, uh, by the way, folks. I went and looked up uh, the names of some of these guys. They, they are Iron Claws, and they, yeah. I have an idea. Ah, they don't know it's me. Destroy the statue to find the ladder. Don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm apparently on my deathbed. Destroy a statue to find a ladder, folks. Hmm. Okay, then. You'll find a ladder somewhere. Well, we'll worry about the statue in a moment. Health, but yeah, there's a problem, folks. We, we're not getting through the door. We need another um, another passcode thingy, folks. And uh, yeah, until then, we can't get in here. So that is a problem. So the only lead that we've got so far is about we need to destroy a statue to um, to uh, to find the ladder, folks. And uh, well, basically, that means all you can do is punch statues until you find out which is the one that you need to destroy. Now, I'll give you a slight clue. It's not up here. We need to go back down to the first floor. It's in one of the two side areas um, that we uh, actually... It's not in here either. It's in one of the two side areas we cleared. And I'll tell you where you guys are, where it is. It's actually on this right side. And what you got to do is just keep punching statues with um, Grant's superior power until eventually you find the one you're looking for. Head downstairs into the basement. Oh boy. The conveyor belt room. Possibly one of the most dangerous rooms in the game. Oh dear. I'm uh, putting that down just in case. Before we head in there, folks, let's check up this right side before we do. You'll see there is uh, another power boxing thing here. I need to get this guy. I want to get a chance. Get him! Oh, that'll do. Right, so we'll take out the power box. I really don't want to fight this guy if I don't have to. Let him go across. Yep. Watch for switches in areas one through three. Yeah, it's this guy again. And he'll let you know that there is only one switch in this entire level, folks. But it is an important one. So, well, we're going to have to go find it. As, uh, as always, folks, you need to interact with pretty much every switch in the game. So, uh, we'll have to find it. Right, now. These conveyor belts are not pleasant. So, full care must be taken. Now, you can follow the conveyor belt if you desire, but you can also walk on these paths here. However, you must be careful what you do. These statues... Yeah, some of them will attack you. And they hurt. Grant is a real, real godsend here. He really is. For it, go. Ow. Long way to go as well on this one. Go. Oh shit. Shit. Down 
here. Yeah, because I remember that one attacks that space, which is really annoying. Whoa, hello. Ooh, shit. Down. Right, I think we're okay, folks. Nice. I am going to save the game, because this room is, is even more dangerous than it looks. Here we go. Whoops, right, sure to run down. Otherwise, you'll get spotted straight away by that camera on the left side. We need to have a chat with this guy. However, getting to him is going to be a problem. Obviously, with the camera on the left side. There's no real easy way to get to him. The only thing you can do is swing down the box like that. Someone has a street pass. You must go down and left. Okay, then. So we've got a location on where our street pass might be, which is good. Down and left, apparently. So... Alright, and we will uh, keep an eye out for that. Down and left, okay. Give this camera to go. Here we go. Ugh. I hate that. Really easy to get caught by one of those cameras there, it really is. Well, let's follow the guy's instructions then. So we need to head down and then apparently left. Oh, this room. Oh my god, this room. We'll be getting here later. First thing we need to do is get to this guy. Pretty easy to get through the lasers, thankfully. Take the pass. But your life isn't safe. No, but uh, I would like to think it's a bit safer now I've got the pass code. I can actually complete the level. That's got to count for something, right? Right, so passcode in hand, that's awfully close. So now we've got the passcode in hand, we could return upstairs if we want to. But we're not going to just yet, folks. We've got, uh, we've got business to deal with, and this is going to be pretty bad, however I decide to do this. Ugh. There we go. Now, I'm sure you guys can see the magnets that are appearing on the uh, our areas here, folks. Now, uh, these magnets are incredibly de- are, well, they can be very dangerous to you. They, they draw in metallic objects, folks. What kind of metallic objects? How about bullets? Yeah, folks. If you shoot your gun in here, or in fact even use your boomerang, whoops, ow, they will be attracted by the magnets here. This means it can cause absolute havoc in this place. However, alternatively, you can also craft use it to bend your ammo around certain corners. So like here, like I can throw this and you see how it draws straight into the magnet here and just speeds up. Oh boy. Also makes shooting this guy a problem. You see how the bullets are going away? Oh, there we go, got them in the end. Of course, I can't possibly use Max. That would be uh, incredibly dangerous at this point. But it can create some humorous situations, like this. <laughs> you go and get me, you sir. A pretty good way of just trying to make the most of this is just, uh, yeah, if you he head in a sort of a snaky sort of situation like this, so you're always in the first wave from the magnets, generally speaking, you can avoid getting hit. If you're fancy, you can certainly get involved in the middle of these, but because you don't have full control over your you stuff from throwing in that, that could be quite dangerous. Oh, that was a bit close. Oh, shit. Of course, you can always use Grant, and his punches will not be affected, but uh, the bullets, of course, are rather unpredictable. Get away! Good grief, that sort of just swerved around. That was like a boomerang. Oh, shit. Ha! <laughs> See what I mean? You can certainly swing it around the corners, which makes it quite effective. Um... If you're firing with, like, Grant's uh, gun, his, gu his bullets move faster, so they, they incur a lot less drag than uh, what um, the boomerangs will. Now we're getting technical. Die. You too, sir. Right then. So, we're through the magnets at least, which is pleasing. Let's have a quick look then. What have we got in here? Ah, now you'll see there's another guy there. However, we know that he does not have the passcode on him. 
because we were told otherwise earlier on. So, now we've got the fun of trying to get through this damn room. Go. Shit. Pray. I'm gonna have to. Stun! Yes. What the? Holy mother of. What happened? Just fell down a hole! What was that about for us? Where are we? Uh, interesting. Well, we gotta make it here, and we also have a switch, which apparently turns off a floor pit, which is very handy. What this is, folks, is this a secret little room here? Now, the staircase that we um, we could have gone down, basically, there's two ways to get into the room. If you've got Grant on you, you can descend into here. And if and you can basically uh, use him to break into the uh, into the doorway here using his um, his ability to obviously to crack through codes. But obviously you may you may not have. Have I got to do this? But obviously, um, if you don't have Grant, you aren't able to do that. So the only other way that you can get access to um, to the room is to fall in from the room above. Like you're meant to know that. But we've turned off the floor pit, folks, which is incredibly important. So what we're going to be doing next time on Let's Play Mission Impossible... More statues, more pain.